This video was requested by one of my subscribers. Earlier I was trying to find your account, but I couldn't. I think you deleted it. But if you have a new account and you're watching this video, just feel free to comment down below so that you know you can give me feedback on this video. But anyways, let's get started with the video. How to love yourself. This is a question that I've always asked myself. Because loving yourself, I believe, is a constant battle. You can love yourself for, let's say, a month, a year. But if you say the same, you could start hating yourself. I've noticed this with myself. I've achieved these big goals, these goals that I've been setting myself to achieve for so long. Like, I've had so much discipline. But then when I achieve them, and it becomes like this common thing, like, it's, I just start not being satisfied with myself anymore. I need this new big thing, this new challenge that will excite me. And I believe that loving yourself starts with you just cha always challenging yourself. For some people, it might be, oh, self-love. It might be something else. But for me, I've always found the love in the journey and challenge. I'm going to tell you a story from when I was 14 years old. So when I was 14 years old, I was a fat kid. I was fat. I got bullied. And, you know, people would pick on me because I was overweight. And it hurt, man. It hurt. But the thing was, is I wasn't doing anything to change this. I wasn't eating the right foods. I wasn't exercising. I was just kind of going about my life crying that I was fat. You know, where do you think that would have gotten me? Nowhere. But then eventually, one day, one day, I remember, I just, for some reason, I just wanted to stop all of this. I was like, you know what? Enough's enough. I'm tired of getting bullied. I'm tired of being fat. I'm tired of walking and not getting gassed. It sucks. I'm unhealthy. And it, Honestly, one day I was just like, you know what, I'm going to start playing soccer. So I signed up for a soccer team because I always loved soccer. A passion of mine was always soccer. So I, I signed up for a soccer team. You know, it was wreck. It wasn't that high level, but, you know, everyone's going to start somewhere, am I right? I hated it. At first, I hated it because I had to run. As I said, I was fat. I couldn't even walk without getting gas. Imagine me running for 45 minutes. And I was just like not good because I couldn't even control the ball. And on top of that, I was big. I couldn't compete. And I'm not going to lie, I was so close to quitting. But then I had to talk with my parents and they told me that, no, you can't quit. You can't quit. You need to keep going because this will challenge you. This is going to make you a better person. And at first, you know, you, you know when your parents give you some advice and you're just like, oh, no, they don't know. We have like this little little kid ego to us. We think that we know everything when we really don't. Decided to listen to them. I was like, okay, I'll give this a try. So I gave it a try. For three, for three weeks, I hated it. it. I still hated it. It was challenging. I was sweating so, so much. But over time, the more I did it, it started becoming like more enjoyable. I started losing the weight. I started actually getting better at the sport and the pain started turning into pleasure. And what I learned from this was that, you know, you've got to go through the pain sometimes to get, get the pleasure. And this goes in hand with loving yourself. Because when you go through pain, when you run a four mile run and you're drenched and you hate it, but you know you did it at the end, you're like, oh shit, I actually did it. I conquered it. You have this sense of self-respect for yourself. You're like, wow, I'm capable. I did it. And it gives you like this self reassurance, this positive reinforcement that you are like great, that you did it. You should pat yourself on the back. And this goes for anything else in life, whatever it is you're doing. School, you hate the hours of studying that you're doing. You're like, oh, I'd rather just go eat something. I'd rather just go play video games. Or in the gym, you're not seeing any progress. You just started and you're like, wow, I'm still skinny. But if you just keep going for six months, eventually you start seeing that muscle definition. And there we go. You start loving yourself. The reason why I'm telling you this is because it's so important to always have that challenge. Because as I said in the beginning of the video, whenever like, you don't have that challenge, your life just feels so dull. If you notice this, when you're not going for anything, you're not trying to achieve anything, your life just feels so dull. You wake up, you have this routine, you go to the shower, you brush your teeth. But when you have that thing, that purpose, it's like, wow, I need to wake up. I need to achieve this thing. It makes life so much more enjoyable. It's the journey that you start really realizing these things about yourself. You know, the journey is what really defines you. It's not the result. Because as I said, it's the challenge. What challenge do you get when you've already gained like 20 kg? Not really that much because you've already achieved it. It's like normal. There's a lot of people who have achieved that, who have achieved the subscribers. They've achieved like a trophy and then they're depressed. You've heard that story. You've definitely heard that story many times. So as I said, loving yourself is, is a challenge. 
is in the challenge and it's you believing yourself. Your mindset's also super important. You need to believe in yourself. You need to be like, wow, I'm capable. I can do it. And when you do want to quit, you just push through and say, no, 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 no. Why did I start? Because as I said before, remember, I was a fat kid. I could have just easily quit and just ate donuts. I could have just easily did that. But when I talked to my parents and they told me to keep going, I listened to them and I'm so happy they told me to keep going because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be who I am today. I wouldn't be staring into this camera and speaking to potentially like a bunch of people who I don't know who can judge me and call me names. If it wasn't for that moment, I honestly probably be a shell of who I am today and I'm so pr proud of the amount of success I've made and you can too man you can too so if right now you're struggling to love yourself set some like big goal for yourself don't make it some pussy goal like oh I want to I want to do this uh, I want to travel to Gua no, no no make it like a big goal make it like oh I want to gain like tw like 20 pounds of muscle obviously not fat <laughs> I want to start a YouTube channel I want to do, like become a boxer. Set something like really big and measurable. And just work. Work and don't give up and believe that you can do it. Believe in yourself and make it painful. Because you if you make this like goal painful, it'll make it so much more worth it because I'm telling you there's something about life that I don't know, I don't know why this is the case, but the things that are initially painful, the things that suck, the things that are like, wow, I don't want to do it, are the things that are always the most rewarding at the end of the day and the things that will have the most longevity in your happiness. So yeah, as I said, bro, challenge, always challenge yourself. That's how you start loving yourself because you start giving yourself these accolades, these achievements in your mind and you'll always come back to them. So yeah, anyways, life is a game. You just have to be willing to play. But anyways, I'm going to be doing more videos about videos where my viewers, they comment ideas or topics that they want me to talk about. So if you have any ideas or topics that you want me to talk about, just comment down below. And if you need any help on how to love yourself, if you need any help on anxiety, trying to get rid of your addictions, starting things that you really want to do, I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. It's free. So yeah, if you're interested in that, link in the bio. And yeah, anyways. Life is a game. You still don't know play. Bye.